Yeah, you know what they say. You made easy money. That's T the squad. We here in Walker Sound, my man Bob Nash Bob. Say what's up to people. What's up, man? Find out who your true friends are when you go away. <laughs> now I mean, out of sight and out of mind. Recording this street album. Street for those who are familiar with streets, me and Turner. Who's making the album? Producing it. We're doing it. Album C Band. And right now, yeah, see, so we got it. Right now, we got a, um, we don't have a title for the album, but I'm working on a track right now. It's called Wait For Me. You know, um, count down the lockdown in six days. So pretty much, I wanted to make my solo record something that niggas would grab onto, something that people could relate to. You know what I mean? It's like the concept of Wait For Me is pretty much about each verse. It's just a conversation with different people in my life. Like my son's mother, my girl. It's pretty much like, I'm about to go down. You know, you know, you find out who your true friends are when you, when you go in the bank and all that. So who you wait for me? Oh, will you wait for me? Huh? Will you wait for me? Dear Tanya, you nothing like my baby mama. More like the mother of my son. Yeah, I do consider you a friend, but will it be the same when I'm sitting in the pen? Find a Trey song sample with acapella. So you just put it in, trying to get it on key now. And I'll be back before you know it. Uh, don't steal my fucking idea, please. This is how I work, yo. See this paper? See this pen? What's that? That don't this look is, like this lyrics. Is, this is term. This is terms. Rhyme book. I'm just listening to all the songs on the album. All right. My song structure is done up here. If you don't know, now you know, nigga. Will you wait for me? Will you wait for me? Will you wait for me? Remember what street meant before. What's it mean now? S T R E E T. What did it mean before? Speaking, Speaking through raw epilogue term, adding term. Street. So now, now we made it a little more, a little more. Uh, what do you call it? What's the word? Up to date. Yeah, we updated it. Made it a little more universal. It's like he's speaking through real experience every time. Mm. Shout out to Hector, that was all Hector's fault. We wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah. But that's how ST came. Everybody's like, what does ST stand for? Yeah. It's a, the abbreviation of street yeah. that you see everywhere. So you know, it's and like yeah. we, we started this shit, me and Ed, speaking through our epilogue at a term, like 2000, maybe 99, whatever. 99 it was. 199, yeah, so you that's know. That's years, but I remember that one. And then, like 2001, we got the first vinyl. So you know, that set off the whole ST movement. Then we added the rest drop of the another 50 vinyls, and I dropped none. <laughs> it's all good, but you know, that's why we came it back. It is what it is, nigga. ST died, is still relevant. Yeah, we still, we, you know, everything I do, I'm involved with them. You know what I'm saying? So that way, if they get light. I, I noticed something different on this one, though. The production. Right. I mean, what happened with that? How'd that come about? I mean, all of us was, you know, we, we pretty much found a nigga that was young and hungry and wanted to work. In terms of ran the idea by me. Yo, let's do an album with this dude here, Lee Bannon. You know, and I was like, yeah, I like the sound. Let's fuck with it. He's real hip hop. He's clean. Right. And then, um, you know, coincidentally, like a couple weeks later, I found that I was going to the bank. So just put more pressure to get it done. So we here. I'm not, we're not necessarily putting the final touches on it, but we're putting my final touches on it. Yeah. Get ahead on it because that's what, that's what time we is. Just did not enjoy it in one day. That's you know what I'm saying? Like me in the lab, nigga, I get it done, it's nothing. I don't bullshit, nigga, I work. That's how he works. He works so fast, dog, and it's like, it's crazy because I work, I work pretty fast when I want to, like I can get in the zone. But like, even on my fastest days, I could never keep up with them. So I just take the joints home and write them and come back. You know what I mean? Because they just write too fast. Every time to put out Ed, you know what I'm saying? And also I could promote this new kid I got. So it's like a new rapper to the world, you know, being Easy Money and a new producer, Lee Bannon. And I figure I'll just use what I got right now. The spotlight's on me to now, let these brothers shine, you know what I mean? Now, while you guys are still young and you got a young up and coming, what you got to say about the young kids? What you got to say to them? Yo, I, it ain't your business, I know, but. Don't do what all the rappers do. 
So all I gotta say, don't do what all the rappers do. Do what you do, man. Cause before you know it, you niggas will be wearing capris and high heels. Like, don't do what you see niggas do on TV, son. Like, niggas wearing skin tight pants, that shit is not cool, though, for men. And then it's like, you know, and it's not like, it's not like we got we saying that you just gotta wear a black hoodie every day. Nah, and make nah. pretend you carry gas if you don't. That's not what we're saying. Nah, we're just saying like, more, do you be, be yourself, that's yeah, it. That's it. You know. We all about that, we always been about that. When me and Ed first started rapping, rap was different, dog. You know what I'm saying? When we came up, it was like back we wore a backpack that was cool, like black moon. Got my backpack, my, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it became whack because like People took it too far and yeah. started making whack shit. But then it's like, also, it, it turned whack when people just lost originality and just started, it was cookie cutter. Everything on the radio was cookie cutter. So. Just make feel good music, make your shit knock, and have some good lyrics and be yourself. If, if me and my team are the only niggas riding around listening to our shit, I'm happy with that, yo. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm a oh, we're not, because bad niggas fuck with us, ST. You know, I'm gonna um, I'm go sit for a minute, but yo. I'm not going away forever. Be back before you know it, nigga. ST dot. ST. <laughs> yeah. You know what they say. You find out who your true friends are when you go away. You know what I mean? Out of sight and out of mind. But in due time, you will find. If you a friend of mine, feel me? Uh, listen, dear Tanya, you nothing like my baby mama More like the mother of my son Yes, I do consider you a friend But will it be the same when I'm sitting in the pen? You see the reason that I wrote you this song It's cause I need to know if while a kid's gone You gon' let a nigga play dad with his son? Girl, you know that shit's wrong yeah, I know it's my own fault I fell a victim to the system But I would never ever do that to his mom And me getting locked up Give you the upper hand And I don't even care if you find another man But I'm still a man And if a nigga try to take my little man I will and can't kill a man Yeah, I'm a scumbag for what I done bad But he only got one dad You better wait for me I'll be back Better wait for me. I'll be back with you. Better wait for me. I'll be back with you. Better wait for me. I'll be back with you. Still remember the good life. You look like someone I could like. Eventually would wife. But through it all, I still feel like I was meant to be with her. Though we both knew this could potentially occur. And if what you really have is real The time to ride is now Mommy grab the wheel And we have to deal with what's before us You say you nothing like with them sluts and horses And you won't be out there wildin' with the birds But your actions just speak louder than you